This video is presented by EA Game Changers. Massive thanks to EA for flying me out to Berlin to attend the FIFA 19 Global Capture event. Enjoy the video, guys. So today's video has the potential to be fairly long, so uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Uh, I wanted to take a look at the 34 icons that are new to FIFA 19 that, well, some of them have been in previous FIFAs, and then there are 14 out of the 34 which are brand new. Uh, and I wanted to, to take a look at the in-game stats, because, yeah, you may have seen the icon stories and, and seen the actual, like, you know, uh, card stats of these players, but how, do that, how does that, you know, actually translate to... To their actual attribute details on FUT19. Uh, and then where I can, I will also show you what they look like in-game. For, for the 14 players that are literally brand new uh, to FIFA 19, I have some game face images that I can put in there for you. Uh, and the one thing I didn't do was actually record a, a screenshot of like what skill moves and weak foot these players were. But of course, I have seen pretty much all of these icons. So I should have a rough idea up in my head as to what their skills and weak foot are. I'll hope Hopefully be able to tell you that as we go through the video. So do me a favor, hit thumbs up. There will be some icons that we sort of skip through and you know, you, the idea for this video is that you guys can pause it at your will, at your own, you know, at your own choice if you want to take a look further into uh, a specific icon's in-game stats. So we start off here with Juan Sebastian Veron. Of course, he has three different versions. Uh, we have the 86 right there, which has 70 pace. And, well, the in-game stats would suggest that as well with the 70-70. Uh, and he doesn't look that amazing, in my opinion. However, we start to, to, to get a pretty decent card when we move up to the 88. You know, we've got a lot of dark greens and a lot of, well, only a couple of oranges, really, in that. He's, he seems very, very usable. And then the Prime 90 rated, I think, is going to be someone which... Uh, is actually featuring in a lot of people's teams. I believe Veron was actually a three-star skiller, so, um, you know, maybe not quite up there with, like, a hullet and stuff, but 95 shot power, 93 long shots on, on the prime. Damn, seems like a pretty good player. Next up, we have Nakata, who is uh, new to, to, to FIFA and actually someone which was in the World Cup mode. I believe we had the 86-rated version in the World Cup mode. I wasn't actually lucky enough to pack him and try him. So, um, it genuinely looks like a, a base level, entry level um, icon, in my opinion. As we move through the different versions, uh, all the way up to the 88-rated Prime. Yeah, he's got pretty good pace, dribbling, shooting, and passing. But he's not going to be like an end game player, in my opinion. Returning to FIFA 19 then, we have Sol Campbell, who of course now has three different versions for his icon story. The 85 rated version with 84 pace, 85 defending and physical has actually got 91 strength and decent aggression as well, as well as high sprint speed such as 86. Uh, his 87 rated version also looks pretty pretty darn solid with 93 strength, uh, but it's the prime, the one with 89 aggression, 95 strength, great heading accuracy, great jumping, also decent sprint speed and acceleration as well. I can see 89 rated Sol Campbell being in a lot of people's teams. However, don't forget that 54 dribbling, that 60 passing. Could that be a reason to not use this player? Next up then we do have the Frenchman David Trezeguet. Uh, well, I'm, I'm very much looking forward to using him. I'm a little bit disappointed that his pace is, is so low on the three different versions. I will of course put a little screenshot of his face uh, up on screen for you guys. It seemed as though he had the same three faces for all three different versions versions, uh, which, yeah, disappoints me a little bit, but it is what it is. Uh, in terms of in-game stats, we move on to, like, the 89 rated version. He gets a little bit slower, but the shooting looks brilliant. Uh, also, 84 strength on the 89 rated version, and then that 91 prime has got 96 finishing, 95 attack positioning, uh, 86 strength, as well as pretty decent stamina at 83 there. He could be usable, but is that pace going to be a problem? Next up then, Bobby Moore's Icon Stories. He has an 87 rated, and you can see the in-game stats there, uh, as well as an 89, and also a 92 rated Prime. Now, the Prime is what we're we're really looking at here. Uh, however, I mean, it, it's not the quickest one. The 87 rated Bobby Moore's actually got the 70 pace, uh, so could we see people looking at, at him more than the 92 rated because of that 68 overall pace? I don't know. I mean, 93 stamina and 90, uh, an 83 strength. I mean, 83 strength for a 
centre back who's who's not super super tall. Is that an issue? Is that a problem for you guys? Let me know in the comments. And then we have another returning icon in Gary Lineker, someone that was in previous FIFAs and also was in the World Cup mode. 87 rated baby version looks okay, not too bad. Uh, 89 rated version when of course he was a lot younger, as you can see with the the image. Uh, 89 pace, 90 shooting, and 84 dribbling, not too bad at all. And then Prime Lineker, as we saw in the World Cup mode, does have 91 shooting, 88 pace with some good in-game stats such as 95 finishing, 91 volleys, and that's going to be all important with the crazy new volley system. Three-star skills on the Englishman. A returning centre-back icon is going to be Fernando Hierro. The Spaniard has three different versions at 86, 89 and 91. And you can see the in-game stats for all of those different items on screen. Uh, I've got to say, they all look relatively usable. 86 has got good acceleration and sprint speed, both at 75. The 89 has got less pace, but he's really strong. 87 strength there. And then that 91 rated prime has got a sort of a mix between the two. Good stamina, great strength. Uh, and then 73 acceleration and sprint speed. I think that's pretty usable. And if we compare him to the likes of Sol Campbell, look at the dribbling, look at the passing. A lot better than the Englishman. Does this make him more usable to you lot? The Italian centre-back Baresi is another one returning to FIFA 19 as, well, what used to be a legend and we now have him as an icon. 88 rated for the baby version, the middle one is 91, and then we have a 93 rated prime, uh, which has, well, 70 pace, which, you know, is actually got quite a big difference in between the two. 64 acceleration, but 74 sprint speed. I don't like that massive gap between the two there. 10 difference between them is, is not great in my opinion. I want someone who's a little bit more... Uh, if he's 70 pace, I want him to have 70 acceleration, 70 sprint speed. I feel like that works better. Uh, and not being the tallest of centre backs and only have an 80 strength on his uh, prime item, I feel like could could turn a lot of people off to this guy. However, he does have good stamina, good heading accuracy, and good interceptions and stand tackles, as well as slide tackles, of course, for the prime centre back. Next up, then we have three different versions of the new icon Miroslav Closer. Of course, we saw a little glimpse of this baby race or baby 87 rated one in the World Cup mode. Fortunately, uh, it wasn't his prime. It was just the earliest version of him. Not very quick, uh, but he does have good finishing, as you can see with the end game stat there. Moving up to the 89 rated version, we get a lot more pace on closer, but the stamina is not amazing. And then moving up to the prime Miroslav closer, one that I actually was able to pack, uh, you get 92 acceleration on that bad boy. I don't ever seem to remember Miroslav closer being that quick. However, I love that he does have a pretty usable item on the game. Uh, a lot of difference between the acceleration and sprint speed. That's a little bit Luis Suarez-esque. Um, but then we have 93 finishing, 87 shot power. You're not going to be taking long shots with this guy. You're going to be fox in the box. Maybe win some headers with that great jumping and acceler uh, great jumping and heading accuracy, should I say. Uh, and also, good strength on the German. We have a Dutchman returning as an icon who used to be a legend that is Rude Van Nistelrooy. 86 rated version. Uh, is a three-star skiller, as was Miroslav Closer, by the way. Uh, three-star skills on Van Nistelrooy, not particularly usable, this 86-rated version. You get a little bit more chance with the 90-rated, because he does have the 82 pace, uh, and, well, pretty decent strength, but mm, lackluster stamina, in my opinion. Very good finishing and positioning, though. Uh, but it's the prime. That's, of course, where it's all at. I am still a little bit disappointed with the stamina. Prime Van Nistelrooy, uh, maybe he wasn't the fittest footballer throughout the whole of time, but uh, I would hope for a little bit more than 80 or a little bit more than 79 on the prime. Uh, but great acceleration and sprint speed uh, alongside, well, amazing volleys, shot power and finishing, of course, are up there, uh, as well as good handing accuracy, good ball control, uh, and decent reactions at 95. Now, guys, this is one that I'm excited for. Pavel Nedved returns as an icon. We used to have him on the game, five-star weak foot. Nowadays, has a four-star skill move set as well, which is brilliant. You know, that's more than the three-star that he used to have. And I arguably think the 86 rated version looks very, very impressive with his 90 pace and 87 dribbling. 89 rated version, stuck in the middle a little bit. Great stamina, really good shot power, long shots, volleys. You know that you're going to be able to hit them on both feet as well. And then as we move on into the prime, you can see that although he's not particularly strong, we don't expect that from a tricky winger like Nedved. He's got good agility, really good ball control and dribbling. Uh, and then to have 94 long shots and 92 shot power... I see a lot of people using Pavel Nedved on FUT19. 
Now we're going to skip past Roy Keane pretty quickly. I'll show you his three different items on screen. I'm not really interested in the 86. Uh, the 88 looks slightly better, but still not someone I'm necessarily wanting for my club. Uh, and then, yeah, the 90 looks okay. Uh, I just feel like he's going to be a little bit too slow and not many people are going to want to use him. And of course, two-star skill moves on this player makes him a little bit less usable than a lot of other options in midfield. Next up then, Emilio Butragueno returns to FIFA 19. The Spaniard was on, what, FIFA 16 maybe? I can't remember which other versions he was on, but he now has Icon Story. So three different versions. The 87 rated, well, apart from looking a little bit like Beans from Even Stevens. Anyone that gets that reference, I love ya. Um, he, he actually looks pretty good. You know, a 91 finishing on a, on a baby card is pretty decent. Uh, we then have the 90 rated mid-tier version, who looks insane with 90. 92 pace and 91 dribbling and you can see that the in-game stats are very very similar throughout so pace is 92 92 uh, throughout the dribbling we've got 90 89 92 90 93 89 all very very close to each other there's not really a stat that lets him down in those areas could be a complete monster and then of course we have the 92 rated prime super quick with the 95 acceleration brilliant finishing you know maybe not the greatest of long shots and stuff however decent jumping decent heading accuracy and once again those stats in the in the dribbling department are off the charts he is going to be someone that people want to use on this game Three star skill moves, but a five star weak foot, if my memory serves me correctly. Gianfranco Zola returns to FIFA 19 as well. Another one coming back into the game. Uh, and I genuinely think he actually looks quite good this year, this time around. He wasn't someone that people uh, used to use. And forgive me if I'm wrong here. I do seem to remember seeing four star skill moves. And I feel like it should be that for Zola. Uh, but yeah, forgive me. It's either three star or four star, but I'm like 80% certain it was four star skills. Baby version looks good. Eight 87 rated looks pretty damn good as well. Really good pace, shooting, passing, and dribbling. And then the prime, uh, a little bit slower than that, but has amazing dribbling. Incredible shooting. You know, you're going to be popping off long shots with that great shot power as well. Uh, nice and agile with really, really close dribbling. Actually looking forward to trying out Zola on FUT19. We then move into a new icon that, well, once again, does return. It is Paul Scholes, uh, the ginger lad from Manchester United. What an absolute legend this guy is. Now, I've actually got a video coming out for, for you guys, uh, which is a little bit of a comparison between Skulls, Lampard and Gerrard, because I know there's this massive debate about that. I don't want to talk about that in this video, uh, because I actually really appreciate what all three of those guys did for English football. I think they were uh, all influential centre midfielders uh, in their own way. Now, Baby Skulls doesn't look that impressive. 89 rated Skulls, uh, I'm still I'm still finding that pace a little bit lackluster. Uh, but Prime Skulls is someone I actually have a little bit of, of use with. Yes, the pace isn't amazing. The dribbling is not brilliant, but the ball control is really good there. It's the agility that kind of lets him down. He does, though, have 94 stamina, and he is aggressive. This is someone with 88 aggression that really does get involved and actually can smash a long shot in as well. 94 long shots and 91 shot power beware from outside of the box of the Englishman because he might score against you now one of Skulls' ex-teammates from what I guess like the class of 92 or whatever it was called uh, is Ryan Giggs now Giggs is coming in with an 87 rated item which I'm not gonna lie I'm not too impressed with the, the shooting stats you know I feel like maybe uh, he's just less usable 89 rated Giggs someone that uh, looks familiar from previous FIFAs again doesn't really blow me away uh, 92 rated Giggs yeah I feel like he could be usable uh, I believe he's got three stars skill moves which is a little bit disappointing uh, but 91 acceleration 90 sprint speed good agility and balance great ball control insane dribbling and decent composure could actually make this 92 rated version pretty usable oh boy am i excited for the return of haristo stoichkov because <laughs> all three of these items do look completely and utterly insane four star skill moves on stoichkov uh, and well he's just got some awesome in-game stats even on the 87 rated baby version the 90 rated out on the left wing as you can see position change for that one 90 pace shooting and dribbling and you can see how close together all of those stats are really nothing letting him down but it's this 92 rated prime oh baby give me this guy in my club 
put him in one of my packs. If we ever pack him on like the Road to Glory or something, I'm going to be literally buzzing. 93 acceleration, one of the standout stats. 92 long shots and shot power. We have 90 agility, 93 dribbling. He's also got strength and aggression too. He could be one of those players that you see some of the pros use, in my opinion. We'll see how he plays when the game comes out though. Now, one that we can sort of skip by a little bit would be Christian Vieri, in my opinion. Yes, he doesn't actually look too bad. We have an 86-rated version, an 88-rated version, and then a prime 90. However, when you see the pace and dribbling stats that this guy has, it doesn't it doesn't really fill you with joy or fill you with the, the want to use a player like this, uh, like someone like Stoichkov does. You know, the stats are just so different. I'm not super interested in using Vieri, but maybe if you're someone that plays aerial football, want that target man, he could be a good option for you. Now, I'm sure you guys are all excited about the return of George Best. I know a lot of the pros. Uh, when I tweeted out, like, who are you most? Most excited for icon wise people were saying Georgie best because yeah he was great when he was in in previous FIFA's uh, he was actually one of the first legends that I packed I think what was it FIFA 16 he was in it I think I think he was the first legend that I actually packed was George best now I think all all versions of this guy look very very good uh, the 90 rated ones got the 90 pace the 93 dribbling 90 shooting uh, and then of course we have 93 rated prime George best with 93 pace 94 dribbling 91 shooting and what that includes is 94 finishing, 93 agility, 91 balance, incredible ball control and dribbling, and good stamina as well. I can see him being end game, uh, pretty much, yeah, literally up until the end game. That that is what people say, right? It's called end game for a reason. Uh, he could be as good as tots players and stuff as and when they come out because those stats are literally insane. Now. I can't quite remember in the, off the top of my head if he was four-star skill moves or five-star skill moves. So uh, we just need to wait a little longer and see how it goes. We can pretty much skip past Jens Lehmann because the goalies don't really have in-game stats, do they? Uh, but he has the 85, the 88, and then also, of course, the 90-rated version. Will the German be usable in FIFA 19? Are people going to be sticking him in goal? I'm curious. I'm, uh, I'm not quite sure. So this is a new one, Michael Balak, and boy am I excited for this German player. Uh, the baby 86 rated version actually looks fairly usable apart from the pace in my opinion. Uh, we've got four star skill moves and four star weak foot on Michael Balak. That's gonna, that's gonna really make people want him in their team. I genuinely feel that having the, you know, the added skills that the three star skiller doesn't have is game changing. Now, 89 rated Balak's got insane long shots. He's got 91 long shots, 92 shot power, but he's just super well rounded and he's got a lot more pace than the 86. And then of course we have the prime, a member of club 80. A lot of people are going to want this four-star skill, four-star weak foot, 91 rated player in their squads, including me. I want this guy. Great stamina, good strength, uh, and just genuinely sick across the board. He's not got the most agility or balance, but I feel like the ball control and dribbling are going to make up for that, and the fact that you're going to be able to outmuscle a lot of people with that good strength and aggression. Excited for Balak is an understatement. So Luis Figo returns to FIFA 19, and he starts off with an 88 rated central version. So definitely not not something we've seen before for the Portuguese man. Uh, central, he's, he's normally out on the right. So uh, pretty excited to try him there. He's got four-star skill moves as well, of course. Uh, decent looking card, the 88. The 90 is is also looking pretty, pretty usable with the 90 pace. You know, good acceleration and sprint speed there. Uh, and of course, great dribbling at 93 in-game stat. But the prime, 92 rated version is rapid with 93 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. He's going to be well positioned, taking long shots with the 89 long shots, 93 ball control, 95 dribbling, 91 agility as well as great stamina. I feel like his, this, this particular card right here could challenge George Best. I think a lot of people are going to be wanting to use him because he's relatively tall as well. Next up then, we have Gattuso. Now, I will skip through this one quite quickly because it's not one that people are super excited about. And all three versions do look relatively similar. Uh, as you can see, we skip through them and, well, there's not a huge amount of stat changes in game. It seems a little odd that there's a four stat difference overall when you take a look at like the comparing the in-game stats for the Prime to the 85 rated version. However, I feel like you could hold down the midfield pretty well. 
Now we move on to someone I'm genuinely over the moon about. Socrates on FIFA 19. The 6 foot 4 Brazilian who has got 4 star skill moves and a 5 star weak foot. And has some pretty awesome stats. Baby, 87 rated version. Has got 87 dribbling, 86 shooting, 87 passing. But in that, we have 90 shot power. 89 long shots, 91 ball control, 89 dribbling. He's also got pretty decent strength. And contrary to what I saw on Twitter, he's actually got good stamina. Now, uh, the, the only thing that kind of disappoints me about Socrates is that it seemed as though all three of his different items had the same in-game player face. I wanted that headband on the 87 rated, I'm not going to lie. But he still looks like an animal in-game. We move up to the 89 rated, who just has even better stats still and gets even better as we go up to the Prime 91. This is someone I want in my team. 92 stamina on a six foot four cam who's got 85 acceleration and 83 sprint speed. That's kind of game changingly good for me. And he's got a five star weak foot. And of course, he's going to be absolutely banging in them shots. 87 finishing, 92 shot power, 93 long shots, 95 ball control. This guy is going to be awesome. Cannot wait to try and get this guy on my FIFA 19 Ultimate team. The Italian Cannavaro makes his way back into FUT as well. He is now going to be in FIFA 19. Uh, this is one of the more pacey centre-back options that you're going to get. However, he's definitely not the tallest. 87 rated, uh, I think... Uh, I'm pretty excited for because 82 pace, 90 defending, 81 physical. That's, I guess that's the kind of the only thing that lets him down. We move up to the 89 rated version. He's less pacey, but has better defending, slightly better physical as well. And then that prime 92 overall, a little bit of a combo in the middle there with the pace. 80 overall, but a massive difference between the acceleration and sprint speed. His stamina is still not great. Uh, but what I was surprised with, and I actually used him, is that his jumping and heading accuracy kind of make up for the fact that he's pretty short. I reckon we could see a lot of people using him on FUT19. So another new icon coming into FUT19 is Claude Makaleli. We start with an 85 rated right mid version, which I feel like is definitely SBC fodder. I don't think many people are going to want to use this guy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He just doesn't interest me very much. Not not with that shooting and defending anyway. Uh, but we move up to the, the two CDM versions. 87 Makaleli looks pretty usable with 86 defending, 85 physical, and you can see the stats in those departments looking pretty solid. Uh, and then the prime 90 rated I feel like is going to be Kante on uh, you know just like a, a next level Kante well until Kante gets a team of the year or something right but uh, good acceleration great interceptions the strength is good the stamina is brilliant he's going to be running all game long standing tackles good like reactions are also up there this could be one of the more usable defensive midfielders buzzing around your uh, your midfield at the edge of the box you know just making those crucial interceptions for your squad Another new icon and someone which seems to have three different player faces is Frank Lampard, the Englishman. A lot of people uh, are, I don't know, uh, There's there's been a lot of talk about the stats for these players. Uh, Frank Lampard... Has got 86 shooting, 85 passing, 82 dribbling on the on the 86 rated version. His 88 looks a bit better, but a lot slower. This is obviously when Frank was a little bit older, towards the end of his career. However, still obviously going to be able to bang those long shots in with 89 shot power and 90 long shots. Uh, and then, of course, we have the prime, the 90, the most usable looking version of this player. I've used it and I was pretty impressed. However, the sprint speed will let you down a little bit. The strength might let you down a little bit as well. Uh, but where you can really rely on this guy is great first touch his ball control is immense good reactions uh, long passing short passing long shots and shot power all of that stuff is pretty much maxed out I think he's going to be uh, a lot of Chelsea fans a lot of Chelsea fans are going to want to use this guy on FUT19 now we have another new icon coming into the game. It is Raul, the Spaniard. Of course, very famously played for Real Madrid and scored a whole lot of goals in his career. Uh, has, starts us off with an 86 rated version. Now it looks as though in his picture, this is when he was a lot older. Uh, so his pace is not great, but his dribbling, his shooting, his passing all look pretty solid. Uh, we move up to the 88 rated version and he has a lot more pace. And then we push on forward through into the 92 rated prime. And my goodness, does he look good. 88 pace with, you know, the acceleration and sprint speed are both great. Uh, attack positioning, 96. Finishing, 96. Stamina, 88. 
Jumping 91, heading accuracy 96. He's going to be able to win you stuff in the air as well. Very interested to see how the Spaniard plays out on the game. We're really getting up here to the new icons now. We have Roberto Baggio, uh, the Italian who has three different versions, of course, in his icon story. This is a five-star skiller, guys. This is someone that has five-star skills, four-star weak foot, and a whole lot of decent in-game stats. Now, people have been looking at the pace. People have been looking at the shooting and think that kind of lets him down. Uh, moving on to the 91 rated version. This is a very, very fast version of it. 91 acceleration. Uh, yeah, the shot power's low. He's a smaller guy. He doesn't quite get a lot of power behind the ball, but the shots themselves seem very accurate, and this is someone that's going to weave through defenses. You know, great ball control, great dribbling. Uh, he's got awesome passing as well, and as we move up to the prime, 93 rated, uh, we do, of course, see that he's got 96 ball control, 95 dribbling. He's got 88 acceleration still. The long Long shots are 84, the finishing's 88. You can definitely make things work there, but it's the tricky dribbling and the five star skill moves that are going to make this player what he is. Uh, unfortunately, though, all three players seem to look the same, um, but he does kind of have that mullet style rather than the rat tail haircut. Now, I would say this next edition is, uh, he's up there in the top couple of players that I'm so excited to try out. It is Eusebio, the Portuguese icon is in the game. He's got an 89 rated version, which is insanely fast with 94 acceleration, 95 sprint speed. Eusebio has got four star skill moves and a five star weak foot, which is of course exactly the same as what Socrates has got. And I cannot be, I, 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 I don't know, I can't wait. I cannot wait to use this guy. All three look insane. We move up to the 91 rated version uh, and he's slightly less quick but the shooting's in incredible all of those stats are genuinely they look kind of game breaking and then we see this 93 rated prime um, he has like in between the pace of both the other two 95 attack position in 94 finishing there's nothing there that's under 93 in the shooting department that's crazy uh, the only thing that lets him down in the dribbling uh, that's under 90 is 89 ball control everything else is just insanely good uh, 93 stamina as well. I mean, this is an end game player. This is a top tier icon that if you pack, you are making serious bank on the game. All right, then, one for all you Liverpool fans. It is Steven Gerrard. Stevie G comes into FIFA 19 as a brand new icon uh, and, of course, does have three different game faces as well. I will show you them on screen. Uh, the 86 rated version doesn't make me want to use him super bad because he's a little bit slow. However, the 89 rated version looks incredibly good. Only uh, heading accuracy being the only orange stat that he's got. Uh, the pace is good up to 80 there on the, on the 89 rated version. 91 long shots, 88 shot power. Uh, um, but for a slightly slower version, who's got better stats all, you know, pr apart from pace, it is Stevie G's 91 rated prime. 90 shooting, which has, well, 95 long shots and 92 shot power. Yes, please. Uh... The only thing letting him down there, volleys, penalties, they're a little bit lower and they bring that overall shooting down, which I know a lot of people have had a problem with. Uh, the passing though, 95 long passing, 93 short passing. You're going to be able to ping those crossfield balls with Stevie G because that's what he's all about. We're coming towards the end now then. There's just a few icons left to show you. It is the Brazilian Rivaldo up next and... I, it's another one that's up there for me in terms of players I can't wait to use. He's got this killer left foot that is going to do damage on FUT19. Uh, the 87 rated version is central. It's a cam. Uh, with 86 pace, 87 shooting, 85 passing, 88 dribbling. A lot of those stats within those areas and there's not much that lets him down. It's really just the balance in, within the dribbling stat there, which is only 77. But what that does is push the rest of them up. You know, he's got 90 ball control, 88 dribbling, uh, 87 composure on the baby version of his item. We move up to the 90 rated one. This is going to be popular because this is his highest rated central version. It may not be quite as quick. However, 93 shot power, 91 long shots with four star skill moves. Uh, he's only got a two star weak foot. He is of course a very, very left footed player. We all know that about Rivaldo. Does that turn a few people off from using this guy? 100%. I'm sure it will. However, I think I'm going to have some fun with the Brazilian. I think he's going to be, <laughs> I think he's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it's almost going to be like, do I use Ronaldinho or do I get Rivaldo in? Because he's he's a different element, you know. He's got the he's got the height to work with as well as a bit of extra strength and stuff. Cannot wait to use the prime as well with the the 94 shot power, 94 long shots, 94 ball control, 92 dribbling, 92 composure, and good strength as well as being like six foot one, six foot two, whatever he is. Ah, Rivaldo, get in my squad. 
So just two icons left to show you then, and they're both going to be Dutch. We have Johan Cruyff. Have you ever heard of him? I think you all have. Oh my god, I, I didn't think we'd ever see the day that we'd get Cruyff in, in FIFA. Uh, apparently, I don't think he ever really wanted to be immortalised in, in games, but um, somehow he's in the game and I can't, I can't wait to use him. Uh, he's got an 89 rated version, which does look in, incredibly impressive. Shot power's low, but the long shots and finishing are up and the acceleration is high. We move up to the 91 rated version, that mid-tier Cruyff. 93 acceleration, you know, the shot power's gone up a little bit. We've got 90 long shots working for us now, and also 92 volleys. Oh, and by the way, there's the little the little bit of info that Cruyff has got five-star skills and weak foot. That's right, Cruyff is going to be insanely, insanely good. The Prime, 94, I've had the very good pleasure of using this guy. We were lucky enough at the capture event where we could use them. He is endgame. He is literally upper echelon top tier icon of the game i think a lot of pros are going to want to use this guy 95 finishing 95 attack positioning he's going to be so so lethal in front of goal 93 long shots 94 volleys 96 ball control 95 dribbling 94 composure great agility good stamina this is one of the best ones guys i can't wait to use cruyff and then finally we have clarence sadorf another new icon which did again have three different game faces in actually in game uh, with the different haircuts and stuff as he moved throughout his career. Uh, we see Clarence Seedorf with his baby version looking pretty solid. Uh, apart from the defensive stats, everything else looks really good across the board. Uh, and I can't quite remember. I think he had four-star skill moves. Don't quote me on that, though, because I'd be gutted if I was wrong there. Uh, it's, uh, I think it was four-star. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, middle, moving up to the 88-rated Clarence Seedorf. More with like the dreadlock-style haircut in-game. Uh, he's he, Again, looks really really good. The defending is his lowest stat by far, but everything else, this is a typical center mid, or maybe even a cam that you might want to use in game. 85 shooting with 93 shot power, 89 long shots. Get this guy at cam for me, and I think he'll do some damage. And then we finally move on to the 91 rated version. He's got lowish, lowish pace because this is Sadoff as he moved throughout, or, you know, moved through into the latter stages of his career. However, 92 long shots, 91 shot power, 93 reactions, 92 ball control, 90 composure, 85 stamina, oh, and 85 strength as well. You want this guy further up the pitch. You don't want him as a CDM because that 68 defending will let him down, but get him in that creative role and you'll score some goals on the game. So there you go, guys. I know it's been a long video. Thank you for listening to that or, of course, just skipping through and seeing the different icons with their in-game stats and game faces. I hope you're very much excited for icons on FIFA 19 because I sure am. I cannot wait for them. Uh, drop a like on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Have a lovely day and I will catch you next time. Peace.